Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little bit serious and just something that I have been going through recently that I thought maybe other NICU moms, preemie moms, um, might also be going through or have gone through it in the past and so yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you know what's going on in my head. So Magnolia is about to turn 10 months old. So on the 7th of December, she will be 10 months old. And if you guys are new to our channel, Magnolia was born um, like two and a half months early. So she was um, born at 28 weeks and five days. So she was really, really tiny. She was in the NICU for 69 days. And yeah, so she's doing great now. She's home and um, she's doing great. Here's what I want to talk about. And this might be, I never really went through like postpartum depression or anything like that. And I don't even know if that's what this is, but it's just a few things that I've been struggling with lately. And it might just be because I worked in childcare. It might just be that. Um, cause I've always been like a nanny or a babysitter and I worked in childcare. So that could just be it. But what I have been feeling recently, and this is going to sound so silly to some of you, but it's almost like Magnolia isn't mine and that might be because we've done foster care and so we've had children be with us and then they leave and are reunited with their parents um but recently yeah I've just been feeling like she's not mine and not in like a I don't love her because I love her with everything that I am but it's just like there's a few key things that in my mind I think of when I think of having a baby like when in childcare I loved all my kids that I would watch love them to death now of course I love Magnolia differently because she's my own but I did love all my kids but there was and my kids always loved me but there was something that's different with those kids I've always this is the way I thought before I had Magnolia is like the one thing that separates not one the few things that separate like me from being their mom would be breastfeeding like I can't breastfeed this child because I didn't give birth to it um, also I never went or I didn't give birth to the child labor and I didn't carry the child so with Magnolia, I carried her. I did that. But I didn't, in my eyes, it might sound really bad, I did have a c-section, but I never went into labor. So I feel like I really didn't birth, give birth to her. Some people will go into labor and they end up having a c-section. I always saw myself having a natural birth. like just natural that's the way I saw myself doing it that wasn't an option for me with her being so early I have nothing against c-sections but in my mind that's what having a baby was was like labor at least labor um, I never went into labor I was never able to breastfeed um, I did pump for a while but even then I wasn't producing enough because she was so early my body just didn't, it didn't know what to do. It didn't know that it needed to produce for this little person. Um, and then we found out that she was allergic. So all that, just a big mess. So yeah, so I don't know if any other preemie moms, um, NICU moms have felt that way. Like how do you, how do you kind of get over that feeling? It's such a weird feeling to have because I obviously I know she's mine she came from me I grew her but there's just like that something that was missing is I'm a mom but I've never been in labor and I've never been able to feed my baby from my body 
and I might just be completely crazy I might just be wacko and you guys are like what is she talking about this makes no sense but in my mind it's kind of hard to explain it but in my mind it makes sense and it might just be like it was Christmas and all these you know happy feelings and we had a great Christmas but yeah just a few things that I've been feeling if you are a NICU mom and you've been through something like this or you're going through it right now, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. A quick update on Magnolia. Um, we, Robert might put out a film about Christmas, but she did not have a very good Christmas day. Like she was not her normal self. Um, she was very like, she laid her head on her shoulder, which she never does that. She's a, She's a very happy baby, but she's not a cuddly baby. So for her to lay her head on our shoulder was like, something's wrong. And then she would just randomly like scream out like she was in pain. And we didn't realize it till a few days later that her the main gym that she has on her stomach, it actually got like rubbed somehow. Um, and it created like a, almost like a blister and it's very very painful and we just never saw it because it was on the underside of her hemangioma so her hemangioma is almost like a giant like um not a mole but like a skin tag it's like a giant skin tag that's kind of like hanging by a little piece of skin but it's like a big ball and so it kind of just like flaps around <laughs> um but it was like the underside so i just never saw it and she has been crying getting into the bath which she loves bath so it, like we were like we don't understand why now we know why um so she is going back to that doctor um on wednesday so i'm filming this on sunday you'll probably see it on monday and she'll be going to the doctor on wednesday so i will let you guys know what the doctor says we're gonna see if it can be removed um, cause it's just in a really bad spot. It being right there in the diaper area. That's probably how it got rubbed in the first place. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My hair is a mess. Sorry, this is like leftover from church today and <laughs> my makeup and everything. And it's rainy. It's a rainy mess outside today. So I look a hot mess, but I wanted to film this video to let you guys know what's been going on so um yeah if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already and leave a happy friendly comment below we'll see you guys next time bye